Not just words. We want action. There has to be sanctions. There has to be accountability. The, the impunity of Israel must end. And that means me, or Martin, must expel the Israeli ambassador. We want complete boycott, complete divestment, complete sanctions. The apartheid, no apartheid state. Hello, my name is David Rosell. I'm not related to Daniel Rosell. Did you ever see speeches like this coming out of Ireland on social media and think to yourself, all right, you want to boycott us, but I mean, couldn't we just boycott you back? If you've ever been struck by this similar stroke of genius, then I'm here to provide some information about how somebody living in Israel might go about boycotting Irish products. Contrary to what the BDS movement would have you believe, looking at the first few digits on a barcode isn't actually a reliable way to gauge where that product originated. Instead, we need to do a bit more detective work. It's also true that really there isn't a vast amount of Irish products being sold here in Israel. Personally, I think that both BDS and boycotting countries back is kind of stupid, but what can I say? Sometimes we're all feeling a bit petty and spiteful. And besides, how can you watch somebody compare your country to Nazi Germany as Richard Boyd Barrett did today and not feel the instinctive need to, I don't know, do something back? The best way I found to track down Irish products in Israel is to run a few advanced searches in Google. These are sometimes considered advanced searches because they use the exact search operator to help us exclude irrelevant results. To do this, simply enclose your search terms within quote marks. Here are a few terms you can try. Tosar Shell Irland and Eretz Yitzur plus Irland. For the second term, you can see that I haven't used exact search operators on the whole search term because sometimes people will put a semicolon after Eretz Yitzur and that would exclude it from flagging in the search. These two search terms should flag up a lot of Irish products according to how they're labeled in Israel. Here are some of the products I found. You have Guinness, various kinds of Irish whiskey, including Bushmills and Teelings, Similac infant feed formula. To boycott Ireland from Israel, you can also refuse to fly on Ryanair, not holiday in Ireland, and choose another country in which anti-Semitic politicians are not allowed to chant for Israel's destruction openly on the streets. If you produce goods, you can also consider not exporting to Ireland and divesting from Ireland by not using it as a jurisdiction in which to establish an EU HQ. Sure, the tax rate there is low, but uh, you really want to set up an office there? To keep this video short, this is a very inexhaustive list and by spending just a few minutes on Google, you can easily come up with a much more extensive one of products not to buy. Until next time.